Hey, how are you? My name is Ben, and I am a movie buff. A few months ago, I had someone recommending that I do a video where I explore my movie collection, uh, so here it is. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I will probably not have enough time to talk about every single DVD slash Blu-ray that I own individually. I mean, unless you guys want to be here for two hours, so <laughs> I'm going to go through this um, as quickly as I can. I will uh, kind of pause on every single shelf, so if you want to, you can pause the video and look through all the movies that I have. But uh, I'll basically just go through some highlights here and there to give you guys an idea of what my collection is and kind of point out some cool things and just talk about my uh, movie collection. So first thing you will notice is that uh, my TV and movie collection definitely uh, plays a big part in, in our living room. As you can see here, when anyone comes through the front door, the first thing they see is this, which, as you know for me, is uh, no accident. That's very intentional. Uh, so the first shelf here, as you can see, is um, stuff that my friends and I have made. Basically everything from here all the way until here. Unfortunately, I had no part in the Elton John 60th birthday <laughs> concert there, but uh, these are films that my friends and I made uh, over the years. It's been a while since I've made uh, a DVD of any kind just because Everything's gone digital in uh, the last uh, four or five years, but uh, it was really fun as a teenager to be able to make these DVD cases. And as you can see here, I wanted to make sure that they obviously felt like DVD cases that you'd get at the store down to uh, a 14A rating and, uh, oh, hey, just, you know, here are the reasons why this is rated that and approximate running time. So it was fun fun making those cases and fun making those movies. Um, two concert films here and then uh, an interview with Stan Lee, RIP. Uh, this was done by Kevin Smith, I think like 10, 15 years ago and is a really cool interview. As we go down here, um, as you can see, I have two, actually, I guess four DVDs that are basically like uh, religious DVDs. Obviously, I have some talks here and uh, two VeggieTales <laughs> DVDs because VeggieTales is very nostalgic for me. Then we get into TV series. Battlestar Galactica, Big Bang Theory. Then on the ground shelf here, we have Chuck, which is a fun show. Uh, Doctor Who. I had a uh, big Doctor Who phase when I first moved to Ottawa um, about eight years ago, and I was watching so much Doctor Who, so I got some DVDs, which is fun. A few other um, TV shows there on the right. And then as we move here, the TV shows uh, end. And then we get into, uh, for me, I just wanted to have like my own little anime section because I know some people have anime sections as part of their collection. So I thought I'll put uh, all of my anime together first and then get on uh, to my collection, which is, is alphabetized. But I'll be honest, I kind of make up my own rules as I go along and you'll see some in inconsistencies here and there, but it's my collection. I'll do, I'll do what I want with it, I guess. <laughs> and then we go down here to more of the A's. And here's like, for me, one inconsistency is that, as you can see, I have all the Batman movies um, together, including um, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, which, of course, technically is, uh, you know, part of the DCEU. And I have uh, Shazam and Wonder Woman, which are also two movies part of the DCEU, yet they're all kind of split up, even though I have other franchises here where all the movies stay together. But I guess for some reason I wanted all the Batman movies to stay together. And if I had to guess, I've gotten rid of a few of the, the oldest movies that I've gotten because I've just upgraded to Blu-ray or whatnot, but this might be the oldest DVD that I own, which I think is almost going now on about uh, 14, 15 years old because I do remember it getting it uh, shortly after um, Batman Begins came out on DVD. So I think that's the oldest one that I currently have. Um, I'm sure for collectors out there, you know the pain of having a franchise where you know, like a series like James Bond, which starts here on this shelf, but unfortunately because of just the amount of movies I have and where movies end up, it then gets continued onto this shelf. So they don't all get to be together on the same shelf that they are separated. So it's one of those things that irks me a little bit, but really at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal, but it's funny that I still feel that every time I look at it. More movies here, and as you'll notice, I've done another thing um, with the three movies all the way on the right. Uh, Hidden Fortress, Cur Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and Twelve Angry Men all belong to the uh, Criterion Collection. I don't have that many Criterion movies, but like I do have a few, and I, like, I, I love Criterion movies, but I guess they're 
they are fairly expensive unless you get them on a flash sale that uh, I just only have five, but I would like to get more at some point. So, you know, next time I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working more and, and have some money to splurge, I'll, I'll do a big Criterion buy. Um, and more movies here. Lots of cool stuff here. Godfather and Goodfellas. As you can see, this is my wife's uh, Harry Potter collection because she had the whole collection before we moved in together and uh, joined our, our collective uh, forces with, with our movies. And you can see that the, the older ones, of course, have uh, have a bit of wear and tear. And then the newer ones, of course, look look a little better. So that's the top shelf for you. Uh, and then for this shelf, some other fun stuff here. The Indiana Jones uh, set, The Complete Adventures, before Kingdom of the Crystal Skull came out. I remember my dad trying to go to all these stores to find the widescreen version because the full screen version was something that I was not interested in. I'm all about the widescreen. And uh, I remember the full screen version was like beige. It, it didn't look like this color. It looked like uh, like beige. So we had to go to like four or five different stores until we finally found a store that had the widescreen um, uh, version of this set. In, in stock, which of course I was very, very happy to finally get there. <laughs> All these movies. This is a pretty fun row here, of course, because you have all of this, and then you get to my Lord of the Rings collection where I have the original DVDs that came out after the movies. Um, I don't have the extended editions anymore on DVD just because I upgraded to the extended on Blu-ray. Uh, the like limited, um, release of, uh, of the Lord of the Rings movies, which I like holding on to because they have pretty cool, uh, cover art here, as you can see. And what's funny is like, I wanted to have these because there's a specific documentary that you could not find on these DVDs or on the extended, uh, edition DVDs, but you can find on the Blu-ray <laughs> extended. So this basically has everything you could ever want, but I like being thorough with my Lord of the Rings movies. Uh, the Hobbit movies, which obviously, as we know, are not uh, all that good, not as great as The Lord of the Rings, of course, but they have lots of really great uh, bonus material. It's actually pretty interesting to watch all the bonus material about all the uh, things that went into the making of this trilogy, and also just like the problems, because as we know, there were lots of problems. And as you see here, instead of having my Marvel Cinematic Universe movies all split up, I wanted to uh, have them all together, because, yeah, it's just very satisfying for me to see all of the MCU movies together. And then uh, my Memento movie here. So I, I love the design uh, of this uh, of this case. And the fun thing too, of course, as you'll notice is that it doesn't really look like your typical uh, DVD case. It's actually kind of designed like, uh, like various papers about, you know, someone that might be a, uh, a patient with, with a mental problem, right? As you can see, Shelby L over there. The fun thing about it is that the design like of the DVD menu is also in keeping with this theme of the case, which means that it's not your typical menu where it's like play, chapter selection, bonus material. So you actually have to kind of know what to look for. And it actually takes a little bit of work when I first got the movie to figure out how to play the movie. So anytime someone borrows the movie from me, uh, I always hear back from them like 10, 15 minutes later asking, so how do you play the movie? Because <laughs> it's uh, it's a little cryptic. More movies here. Obviously, every shelf has more movies. Got all this stuff. And there's this. And of course, Toy Story does not come after Pitch Perfect, but for me, I wanted all my Pixar movies to be together. So that's why I have Toy Story where it is. Now, if I had to guess... I don't know for sure, but I would guess that my copy of Up might be the thing, might be the movie that's worth the most in my collection. Uh, as you can see, it's signed here by Ed Asner with deep thanks. Uh, I was Ed Asner's personal assistant um, on a production almost four years ago. Wow. And he was such a cool guy that uh, I gathered up the courage to ask him if I could bring my movie in to a day of work so that he could sign it for me. He said yes, so he did, and I was very grateful uh, for that. So that's really cool. Some more movies here. Then we get down to the S's, as you can see. Uh, Shazam is there. Jeez, and I think Shrek might also be one of the oldest DVDs that I have as well, because that would have came out, I'm pretty sure, in like 2002. More movies here. 
<laughs> uh, I have five Star Trek movies. Um, all of the Star Wars movies except for Rise of Skywalker. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that one to <laughs> to be uh, at a discounted price before I I buy that one. Uh, the Ten Commandments set. This is really cool. This I got from one of my friends, uh, I think last year, and it's this big box set that has the 1956 version of the movie and also like the silent version, like the 1925 version of the movie. It has all sorts of cool uh, things inside. It's a really great case, except for the fact that it's pretty big, so it kind of sticks out <laughs> like that. And my son is getting really good at uh, pulling movies off the shelf, so Ten Commandments is pretty easy to grab onto and pull down, which he's already done more than once. This is the last shelf here. Some fun stuff. If you're wondering what is Thumbtanic and Thumb Wars, look it up on YouTube and uh, you can see for yourself. It's quite uh, quite special. Some more movies there. And <laughs> I used to have movies here, but of course this has now kind of become Dexter's shelf because he likes uh, playing with stuff here. And of course like it's very easy for him to grab anything that's here. So the five or six movies that I used to have down there, I have right here. So this is kind of the overflow of the uh, movie shelf because if they're any lower, Dexter takes these out and he starts trying to put them in his mouth. <laughs> so the remainder of the X-Men movies, Young Frankenstein, and then Zombieland. So that is my uh, collection, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about my uh, collection, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please share this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.